All right, guys, check it out. I'm headed to look at a second location. I'm looking at doing a second barber shop, obviously. That's obviously. But my shop is maxed out. If you guys aren't aware, if you haven't seen my shop, I have 13 chairs. It's totally full. And our first shop is on kind of our older main busy street. And I'm currently headed out to kind of the new developing busy street. So it is called Highway 54. And unfortunately, guys, there's not a lot of vacant properties. I say newly developed. It is newly developed, but it is actually almost maxed out. So anything else that's new that's coming available is in a newer area that's not very busy yet. And I definitely want that high foot traffic. So I'm gonna show you guys where we're looking. We are on our way out there right now. This is my first time seeing the building. So you guys will see it along with me and we'll discuss some of the things that go into what I'm looking at. But basically if we move forward with this barbershop, guys, I'm gonna document the whole thing so you guys can follow along. If you wanna open a shop for yourself, you can follow these steps and I'll try to break it all down for you guys. First thing being the location. So obviously when you're looking for a location, most of the time it's through like a commercial realtor and my town has three or four that own pretty much everything. So you just call them, see what they have available, go look at it and we'll talk about kind of what makes it the right spot. But we're gonna look at things like the size and how much we can fit in there and kind of maximize the space. Obviously the location and what's nearby and how much foot traffic there is, the price and all that good stuff. So as soon as we get out there guys, I will show you what we're looking at and then we'll look at the space and see what we think we can do with it. All right guys, so I'm currently driving on what we call the bypass. It's basically a big semi-circle that goes all the way around the city. And up here, you can see I'm pulling up to Highway 54. So on our right, there's a bunch of development. You'll see a lot more when we get up here. Bunch of restaurants over here. There's a hotel, IHOP, Drake's. There's some new restaurants that just moved in. Big Academy Sports. And then over here to the left is some stuff. And that is where we're going to be going. I guess so we are turning in. I'm going to show you kind of what's around. I'll show you over here in a minute. But around back, guys, there's Meyer, the big grocery store. And then Menards, which is a home improvement store. And it's the only home improvement store on this side of town. So very busy, this area that we're in. We're gonna be looking right over here in this building. We'll go ahead and turn in the back side. You guys can see here is Panda Express, Raising Canes. And then up here at the front is Longhorn. And then that brick building right in the middle there is Starbucks and a pizza place. And then this new building right here that you're seeing in front of me is gonna be a firehouse subs and a donut spot. So we're gonna be looking over here to the left. Here are my guys that I'm about to meet. And we'll go in here and check this thing out. All right, guys, this is it. So obviously carpet would go. You can see this was a toy store. So one thing I'm looking at, guys, is I need a seven by seven square for each chair. So if you look from the wall down, I'm gonna get the dimensions, but I'm not sure. But I can tell you that it's bigger than I expected. So this is probably like at least 20 feet wide. So definitely, let's just say back here, let's say like this is a seven by seven. So I can probably fit seven or eight down each wall. And so another thing I'm looking at is outlets. So you can see there's one, two, three, four, I think there's five. And blow dryers will trip the outlets, so you have to watch that. We do have to have a sink visible, so there's a bathroom over here I'm gonna show you. So potentially the sink could come out right here and we could have a sink on the back wall. And this is really perfect already. Here's a public bathroom. We probably just knock this wall out so that you can get to the bathroom and then just hook the sink in on this side of the wall. And then this would be a little break room, depending on what we do. Oh. There is a dog in there. Oh, scared me. Depending on what we do with this front wall, basically this would stay, or maybe we would just, you know, do like a hallway right here, and then the break room would be there with the back door. But you guys can see plenty of room. And uh, obviously the carpet would go. I could put some of those hexagon lights up here, but it is it is big, bigger than I thought. Definitely room for plenty of chairs. So that's what you guys really want to figure out is, I don't know the price of this yet, but how many chairs times how much booth rent will it take to cover the cost of the building? utilities, et cetera. So this is like 1600 square feet. I'm gonna go ahead and guess they might be like 20, 22, $24 a square foot, something like that. So we're looking at three or $4,000. So how many chairs does it take to pay that? So you guys can see how that adds up. And obviously you gotta leave room for utilities and things like that. And the bigger the space, the more air conditioning, the more heat, the more light bills, all of that stuff. A lot of clippers running, a lot of blow dryers running. But I can't tell you just first glance looking at this, it is looking like it's something that could work. I mean, there ain't no question it can work. Now it really comes down to the numbers. So I will see if, if uh, they have any kind of idea on the numbers, I'll go ahead and do that after I talk to them. I don't know if they want to be on camera. So after I talk to them about some of that, I'll give you guys kind of a recap on what I kind of figured out and see if we're going to start to move forward on this, see what kind of build out they're willing to do to get this ready. It'd be pretty simple. They already got basically all the walls cleaned up, pulled the carpet up. I just saw some concrete back there by the bathroom. So we can just epoxy this floor over the concrete and it would be ready to go. And all we got to do is tackle this back wall and add a sink. So pretty easy job. So it's actually looking pretty promising. I'm gonna go talk with them and see kind of what they're thinking. And then I'll give you guys a recap after that. All right guys, so that's it for checking out the spot. It is absolutely 
perfect. We discussed, they're gonna check out the electrical receptacles for me. Cause I don't wanna be blowing breakers with our blow dryers. They're gonna make sure that that's right. If they have to, they would run, uh, I guess all new receptacles individually on their own breakers like our new shop. And then the carpet could come up. They said we would just tear that back wall out, leave the break room side and have that little bathroom. And we can pull the carpet up and put epoxy on the floor and it'd be ready to roll. I did just figure out guys, I can fit 16 chairs in that thing. So it's actually bigger than I was expecting. It's absolutely perfect. And we are gonna move forward as long as the price is right. So when I get the numbers, I'll check back in with you guys. All right guys, so it has been a month since the last clip that you just saw. We did a lot of negotiating and that is something you guys need to go into when you are trying to do a shop. You guys can negotiate. Sometimes they won't budge and I'll get to that in a minute, but you guys wanna ask for you know a better deal than what they're gonna give you and see if you can meet somewhere in the middle. So after a few weeks, they came to me with a number idea for the rent, what they were asking. It was a little bit higher. It was actually more than the shop that I'm sitting in and this shop has 700 more square feet. So I went back to them and said, man, I can't pay that. I know you guys really love that location and think that it is just gold, but I can't pay more for that with 700 less square feet. So we met somewhere in the middle. They end up asking 3750 a month. So 3750 And then basically what I asked was for six months free. That way I can hire barbers. You guys know I'm not gonna have any barbers. I have to, for one, set up the shop in the first month, hire some barbers. They're not gonna have any clients. I have to build up clientele. I'm not gonna charge them booth rent. So I can't pay the 3750 the first few months that we're in. So I asked for six months free. They came back with six months at $1,000 a month just to cover kind of some of the things on their end. So we end up agreeing to that, guys. It's gonna be $3,750 a month. I'm gonna get six months at $1,000 to get going basically. And ideally I'm gonna take a couple guys from here over there that will continue paying booth rent that already have clients and that will help us cover that $1,000. But for you guys who wanna figure out a shop for yourself, basically let's look at $3,750 and how many chairs it is gonna to take to cover that. So my idea with this shop is that we're gonna have eight barber chairs. So if each chair pays eventually 200 a week, let's call that four weeks in a month, that is $800 a month per chair. We're gonna do eight chairs, that is $6,400. We'll go ahead and subtract the 3750. That leaves us 2650. Let's go ahead and call the bills another thousand. So we're ending up with 1650 in profit. And then obviously we can add chairs after that. So that's what you guys wanna look at. Basically figure out what it's gonna cost you to run the barbershop, how many chairs and how much booth rent you guys can charge and what will kind of be that break even point. And then you can kind of see what kind of wiggle room you have from there. So say they were asking 6,000 a month, obviously I would not be making any money and definitely couldn't do that deal. So guys, like I said, I did lock the deal in. You guys will be seeing a full opening the barbershop series. We're gonna do everything from logos and signage to equipment and I don't even know what else, but every step of the way, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys don't miss that. And leave me a comment down below and let me know if there's anything you wanna make sure that I hit on in this series so you guys can learn how to open your own barbershop. Now I'm gonna link right here some of my favorite videos of opening this shop if you guys wanna check those out. In the meantime, until we get to the next videos from the new shop.